<laughs> we are live. If you guys can only see the pre-show that we do before this show, that's what we yeah. should start recording. Especially when Miss Wild is on, it's wild. It's oh, yeah. just like her last. Oh my god, we're you don't just, even know. Just, you never know what's in front of it, really. And she's, I know, and she's in Mexico today. Everybody, look at that. Isn't that amazing? And yeah. I am not in New York today. I am in Texas, Austin, and it's literally for you people that like, you know, Celsius. It's eight eight Celsius here, which is crazy. And this morning yeah, why, it was three why, Celsius. Why is, it, why is it crazy? It's Austin. It's, it's like the South. It should be like 150 degrees. I should be like basking no, no. naked in the sun. No, oh, please. Oh, no, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm never going to get that vision out of my head today. Me basking yeah. naked in the sun. Can I tell you? I want everybody to have that vision. And I've seen me That's naked. Good. And it's scary. Just free. so we're clear. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. free, guys. Yeah. For free. You're I bask naked for, free. For, a do for a dollar. I'll sing. I'm just saying. Anyway. Yeah. We have a wonderful uh, guest that uh, guest that Miss Wild brought in from an interview that we yes. did a couple of days ago with the guys from Show Me Pizza. So this is the artist who's going to actually put his pizza on the box. The his design on the pizza box, or his, yes, or his box much. on the pizza. He's going to do something with the pizza box, and I'm not sure what, but I think that's what we're here yeah. to find out. So it could be very interesting. We'll figure well, it out. Funnily enough, I do know yeah. a little bit about it because I saw it this morning. So I'm well, sort of breaking us. a tradition. I'm breaking a tradition by knowing a little bit more about the artist. So I actually saw the, and we actually have it to show everybody. But well, I we think can we'll do that when he comes on. A, yeah. So should we just do that, and then, and then, well, we'll just do. Uh, uh, are you still with us, Miss World? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we're we're going to add by all systems go. Yeah. yeah we're going to invite like, Joseph. We're going to invite Joseph to the to the to the cast now because I think we may lose Miss Wild here in a second. So here we go, guys. Joseph, welcome to our crazy show. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. it's our pleasure, my friend. Good evening, good, morning. Or good afternoon, wherever you are. Good morning, wherever you all are. Don't know what time it is in Mexico, but uh... <laughs> yeah. So Joseph, so Joseph, tell us about you, I guess. Uh, so I live in Austin, Texas. Uh, <laughs> I'm cat obsessed, so I moved here to do like filmmaking and art. I wasn't really making any like waves with painting, so I decided to start doing uh, photos of my cat. Okay. And I started making stickers of that. I started like doing stickers of like different cat designs. Oh, hold on. Let's we'll tell you what we'll do. We'll make this even better. There you go. Yeah. This is my ah. background too. Oh, very cool. The all-seeing uh, cat eye. I like that. Yeah. So, and then it's uh, based on, like, uh, Vaporwave, which is a style of music. Right. Uh, and so I just feel like 90s glitch art. So, yeah. It's very nice. Obsessed with Seinfeld yeah. as well. <laughs> so I have a lot of Seinfeld-inspired pieces. Okay. Very cool. And then... So how did you get involved here? Let me go back so everybody can see everybody smiling. How did you get involved with the, um, the pizza? I'm going to call it the pizza box project. How did you get involved with the pizza box project? So I'm, uh, I, I do street art as well. Which, okay. Uh, so I do like big uh, posters, we paste that I right. up around town. Uh, and I'm friends with like a lot of other street artists. Okay. Uh, TV head is one of them. TV head. Okay. We're in a art crew together. Okay. We get together. We do like, art together and kind of art shows. And he was, I think, the first one to do the pizza box art. Yeah. Uh, and he contacted me and he's like, hey, man, I think you'd be perfect for this. Uh, and then that's how it all started, yeah. Um, me and him, I've been friends for you know a while now and we kind of collab together, and just get out there and make art. Very cool. And then, so, so he brought you into it now. And I don't know, so between you and Miss Wild, you'll have to tell us. Are you allowed to show us what this the art's gonna be this coming Sunday, or is that the big reveal at the store on Sunday? I mean, usually that's what we do, but I think it's already been out there. It's 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 oh. not really that formal. So. Okay, so do we know what it yeah. will do? Well, then you guys know what it can you show us? Can you show the audience what the art's gonna so, be? The, the yeah, Joe it. one, I think, uh then the we can show Steve. I don't know the the like I showed him. I sent two different ones, so I don't know which one he exactly used. Okay. I oh, so it is going to be a big reveal. Also, yeah. yeah, I was curious about that one. I so I mean, this one was like the one of the designs, but I don't know if he went with this one or the other one. 
Ah, okay. okay. I like that. That's very cool. Yeah. Well, uh, can, I, can I share one I found found on Instagram? That looked very much like, uh, yeah. so, which is this this one. Ooh. Yeah. So it's it's going to be similar to that, but there's going to be a slight yeah. like variations to that design. Okay. Yeah, that's Does that work? Oh, and then. The that was an earlier version, I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the one I got from from Instagram, uh, or courtesy of Instagram, whoever's listening. <laughs> the, this morning. Um, yeah, I, I know. You, you go by you go by Cat's Cold, not Joe and the Peanuts, right? Yeah, that's just my email. Yeah. Yeah, can you change that, Dave? Independence. Um, if I would, I, I would do my very best to do that. Okay, thank you. Yes, we will make sure that we put the right down below. But when we do our little blurb on the bottom, we'll put it. So, what? So, if someone wants to see your work, here, yeah, this will help us out too, because as we can, you can tell, we don't do our homework. Um, what website do they go to look for you? Right now, my website's down for it. Okay. I'm trying to redevelop, so right now it's just through Instagram. Okay. How you can contact me. Uh, and then I'm just trying to like, right now I'm trying to get like a studio space again. Okay. Bigger pieces. So right now it's just kind of doing projects on the whim. Okay. And uh, just like putting like, just right now I'm like making a lot of stickers and wheat paste to put up around town. So okay. I my art off to other festivals for wheat paste and off street. Okay. And so that's kind of like what I mainly focus on. Like right now, uh, I have some stuff in like um, in London for the London Paste Up Festival. Uh, in Naples, Italy, they have like a street art fest going on right now. Got some stuff okay. up there. Very cool. But, so, so do you have any like you said you do larger projects? Do you have any larger projects right now that you're painting that we can see, or is that why you need a studio? So there's nothing yeah, that we right can now, actually I'm, see. Yeah, right now I'm unable to like do big projects that I want to do. Right. But right now I'm. Uh, just kind of limited to stickers okay kind of like online art stuff and then uh i have like big posters which i can grab some to show you that'd be no when you say online art are you talking nfts or you're just talking like an online picture of stuff yeah nft type stuff oh, okay so you have nfts out there yeah i got a couple so i the my whole concept of my art is kind of just where it's kind of consumerism where i can just put my art on anything gotcha so, of like I want I have a uh, bumper stickers, air fresheners, you know, a cat's cold water, right? Use with catnip, you know, um, just anything that you can just put koozies, you know, just stuff that's just okay. like very cool. So, and I mean this as a compliment. So, not it's not gonna it won't come out, but it is. So it's like Peter Max when he started, right? He started with pillowcases and putting all this stuff on stuff and now he's everybody wants his art i don't know why but they do but so it's kind of the same thing right so you're putting yours on more of the commercial side and then it seems like when you get a studio you'll grow more into the if you will the artist side yeah exactly okay yeah. hey i got one right i'm done thank you have a nice day okay. well you like yeah. seinfeld george costanza so you know i'm done for the day so very cool so yeah please if you have a poster or something or things you'd like yeah. to show yeah. i know david has some stuff he can show us while you're getting your stuff what do yeah. you have david that we have pulled from his site that we can show. That's see, I like that. That is very cool. Yeah, there's just there's something else uh, that I found online today. At, okay. Uh, yeah, it was sort of reminded me a bit of sort of a mixture of Felix the Cat and then uh, yep. the other the Disney product, which we won't talk about for 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 copyright reasons. You mean Mickey um, Mouse? And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I'm sorry. And, are you talking about? Are you talking yeah, about Mickey Mouse? Oh, I okay. Think, I think think we might have been. And it was <laughs> It looked like the all-seeing eye, but it has a yin yep. yang in it. If, if I, can, I see uh, that. So, yeah. so Joseph, before you show us the poster, we're looking at something that looks like Felix the Cat from when David and I were children back in the 13th century. Yeah. So is that a is that a sticker? Is that a poster? That's an original art. Like if someone wants to buy that, how do they buy that? Yeah. So mainly it's a, it's a sticker. So I okay. See so I sell sticker packs of my different designs. So even at the pizza event, I'm going to have sticker packs available. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah. And so that's just how I got into it was like, uh, just like, like street art community. There's like sticker artists, graffiti artists, taggers, and then wheat pasters. So this okay. is a way for me to like put my art on like bathroom. Could you, 
Could you just define what you mean by, I'm sorry, wheat paste is, is, I have an idea of what you mean by that, but that's something that I've not heard before. I'm certainly not on this side of the, of the, of the pond. Could you explain that a little bit, what wheat, what wheat pasting is or? Yeah, so we, is, is that, is, is uh, just, so I make the glue out of uh, flour and you just boil the flour and you make it into a paste. So it's a wheat paste. And I get giant coasters, and then I uh, I just paste them up around town, abandoned buildings. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, and wow, is that's that, huge. Is that, is that done out of financial necessity then, or do you just think that's a better way, a better form of glue, more better for the for the environment? Uh, so it's something that just it's easy, it's inexpensive, it's easy to make, and it's like kind of like DIY on a punk, you know. And so it just it stays up for months. Depending on it, and then it kind of ages the poster too over time, so it kind of has a new aesthetic to it. So it kind of look it varies over time. People will tag over it, you know, put other stuff around it. So it kind of just adds like an element to it that like anybody can yeah. see. So it's free for everybody. So it's like art that anybody can you know view. Yeah, do you have people that continue continuously tag over your art as uh, as as part of? It's just part of the culture of like just yeah. you know, something that's out on the streets, you know, kids or anybody so, like tag it up or put a sticker over or paste over it or rip it down. It's just part yeah. of it's art that only lasts for a certain period of time before. It's, uh... Yeah, but it's, oh, it, you, wow. it, it, it seems to be that you're, that you're quite encouraged uh, by the fact that it's being tagged and and that people add to it. Um, yeah, that, 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 I, that I, find, I find that quite refreshing, to be honest, because we have all the hoo-ha here in Europe about people chucking tins of, of uh, soup uh, against art and spoiling it all, allegedly. And yeah. now you are an artist who openly encourages a contribution towards your own art. Yeah, because how, how I my favorite thing to do is collaboration. So that's why I'm so excited to do the pizza thing. It's right. like I like working with somebody on an idea that where it becomes not just mine, it's like, you know, somebody else that can collab and we just like work together on stuff, you know? It's almost all like a collective. Yeah. So it becomes a collective. Very nice. Exactly. So so around so around Austin and people can actually see your art. Yeah, and around the world. So this is a collab that I did it's called the Wheat Paste. And I believe he's from uh, New York. Oh very nice. Yay, New York. I make another dollar. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this is my image, the cat on top, and then his was a rat that I put on the bottom. Oh, okay. Signature. So this is kind of the thing with my art. It's where you can mix the two genres, you know? Right. Yeah. Look fantastic on, on T-shirts and on jackets. And... Yeah. Yeah. So the one that you did, oh, that's that's very pretty yeah, as well. Is it, is it... This is my cat actually right here, too. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Yeah. She's actually- we have. We have, can I just... Oh, oh, ha, 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 ha. Very cute. I'm going to add this to the stream, Stephen, because it's had something else. Uh... That's nice. That's the one he just showed us, except without yeah. the skeletons. So I do a lot of different variations of the same pieces. Okay. Which makes it where, uh, you know, I'll do it like a neon one or a watercolor. And so it's just different styles of the same, you know, piece. So it kind of just kind of adds like this, like nuance to it every time you know yeah gotcha so like this piece if someone sees this and likes it because it's got the skeletons it's got the little bookshelves and whatever can they buy this or they can only just buy if you will the sticker with the cat and the madonna so this is a sticker uh and this guy is a, a collab that i did he's a uh, skelly nyc so he's a new york artist okay that is, is he gets art from um different people and then he makes a scene with it Okay. Yeah. So, it, looks like, it looks like he doesn't look after his cat as well as you do. Yeah. And so, yeah, he, I, I will send him a bunch of stickers and then he does kind of photo shoots with them. Very, very, that's very, so, very cool. I like that. So that's the kind of thing that I like to do is meet up with all artists around the world and then kind of they do their interpretations of different things with mine, you know. Is that oh, a God, God, one? Oh, sorry. Yeah. sorry. Did he make it in miniature? Is that like a little yeah yeah so that's the thing so it's a miniature photo that they like make it to a scene mm -hmm. 
Yeah. That is very, very had, cool. That's uh, creative. Just one last thing I'd like to add, because I found this quite fascinating this morning. Um, so let's, I'll just put up onto the stream here. Oops, sorry, Dave. Try it one more time. The tape. There we go. There we, there we go. Yeah, this had a this had a very sort of more '80s feel to me. The, the color palette and the and the haircuts. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, actually a distorted photo of David Lynch. Okay. Uh, okay. Lynch fan, uh, just a big movie guy, and so I just like weird, weird comedy, weird movies, weird books, weird art, and so that's just kind of what I really like to play with. So this is kind of like surrealism that uh, I like to put out in the world where it, like, it looks like it's from a, like a different dimension or a different world, you know? It's kind of just like, you, you notice it, you know the imagery, but it's like a little different off a little bit. And is this a collage then of the stickers, of the little pieces of art, or is this, uh, is this what piece we're looking at now, the complete piece? Yeah, so this is a figure design. Uh, and this is a clip piece, and I've done several different variations on this one. Uh, and it, the, my ongoing theme is the all C and I, so it's kind of yeah. like how, um, you know, like how businesses try to sell you on something, you know, Coca Cola, you know, Andy Warhol type stuff. Well, I'm kind of saying this is kind of a mockery of that saying, hey, watch out what you buy, watch out what you look for, be aware of your surroundings, and then kind of like live in your own dream world, you know? So a political statement. A little bit, but more on the comedic side, you know? Right. You know, the, the movie They Live? Yes, I remember that one. That had uh, Rodney Rodney Piper or whatever, yeah. the wrestler in that it. That was a big influence on me. I was like, all right, people see a certain thing and think a certain thing, but really it's like, you know, not that, you know? Gotcha. There's a hidden agenda, you know, your phone listens to you, you know, I'll be right. like, I love veggie burgers. And then next thing I know, I'm getting an ad for a veggie burger, you know, bulk of burger on my phone. I go, yeah. oh, my phone. Yeah, but, insane. yeah, or is that just synchronicity? Or do we have to have another show on that? <laughs> no, we should do another yeah. show on that. Yeah. Next yeah. Time. Yeah, this Next is a thing. continuous a continuous debate I have with my kids and my and my partner about uh, them saying something and then all of a sudden it appears. But you know, uh, yeah. Now, when are you going to when be we'll doing the, the pizza the pizza art? When will that be? Actually, so that's, when will this, you be there? At Show me pizza from five to nine. Okay. Yeah, and it's gonna. I'm gonna have a lot of my art. Uh, so, so you're is this month? You're you're the artist for this month. Is that, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And I also have my art featured at a couple places around town as well. Um, there's this bar called uh, Violet Crown Social Club. Okay. And I put my art up there. Um, I also do, um, I produce stand-up comedy. So oh. uh, comedy seems pretty big right now. And uh, I do, there's this venue called Electric Church. Okay. DIY it. venue. So very punk rock, you know, very... Uh, uh, very cool in that aspect, and uh, I'm doing a comedy show this Tuesday called Comedy Drip. Okay. Kind of a psychedelic alt comedy show. Very very cool. And where is that one going to be at? So that's going to be at Electric Church Tuesday, uh, and it starts at eight. Very nice. And our tickets are available. Hans Kim, which is uh, a regular on the show kill tony he just went featured okay. on joe rogan's podcast and uh this podcast oh, he needs he, he needs to be on ours now then yeah and you need to be on a podcast that has lots of viewers no just go ahead so. yeah. well i actually i actually have a podcast called austin culture club oh wow uh and what it is about is just we it's kind of a similar aspect where we talk to local artists you know business owners uh we've had filmmakers um coffee shop owners comic book shop uh uh people that write comics actors comedians we talk about you know austin culture as a comedic thing too as well very cool yeah so the, the argument is slowly building up against you stephen that uh, there is culture in austin regardless let's of say, how you let's make it's like it's like this because a guy had paints something with a cat eye let's not get carried away here 
<laughs> so <laughs> that's our he hasn't been invited to the parties. <laughs> and from what I hear of some of these parties, I'm good with that. So yeah, we'll <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an age thing, Stephen. I think. I think yeah, yeah you, you you can't have guys our age there. Probably not ageist. In fact, super supportive. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, just interesting like all, to hear people. interesting to hear things like psychedelic and punk and everything. Yes. I mean, I remember it first time round and now it's yeah, like you guys <laughs> yeah, we, lived through, we lived through that stuff, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. yeah well, it was it was a lot of the artists that I work with are much older. I'm thinking I'm thinking, man, I thought I was like the older guy. I'm like in my thirties. And I was like, I talked Oh, that's seriously people. old. Oh, oh my me. god, how do you survive? Seriously. You know, so. in their fifties. And they're still like climbing up, you know, walls to put up art and, you know, jumping around on trains. And I was yeah. like, well, you know, and they're yeah. still, still doing it, you know. So, right. yeah. and, uh, and Stephen's just taking his clothes off in Austin. So everybody has a contribution, you know. Yeah. Hey, listen, everybody's got to have a hobby. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Well, this is very cool. I mean, I like, I think the fact that, um, and I guess it's a concept, I've not seen it anywhere else where people are putting their art or stickers or whatever it might be on a pizza box. I think it's nice because it gets to share it with everybody. Yeah. So, so I, when they stamp the box is, and if somebody wants to buy your art or your sticker or your posters or whatever, do they go to, how do they, do they go to the pizza shop? Is it going to be on the wall or how are they going to sell your stuff at the, uh, at the pizza yeah, shop. A lot of it's just, yeah, through Instagram, people just message me and okay. um, collaboration pieces or custom things. Or if that piece they like, I go, yeah, I can get that set up for you. And I do a lot of like, uh, yeah, they can just hit me up there. Um, I think you'll have some of your merch available at the, the Show Me Pizza event, right? There's, yeah, there's other like companies and stuff that sell like certain things. I have a uh, a t-shirt company out of uh, London that sells like shirt designs that I do for them. Oh, wow. Um, and, and it's just certain pieces. And then I have a company that sells just sticker packs. So I, I go through like, I, the thing is just networking with different people just to put out stuff. And like, you know, eventually I, I want to put out like cat's cold shoes and, you know, socks and just, just wow. flip paper, you know, I, just things that I was doing. I spent most of my morning designing sneakers, so um, now let's see if we can uh, do something together on that. Yeah. On cats. Yeah. So, like you know, like the band, the blank band shoes, artists yeah. paint those up, and so kind of doing like yeah. custom prints on that, you know. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. We can, we can, uh, we can, we can certainly can collaborate on that, but uh, we'll swing we'll, all that stuff. We'll put through uh, Miss Wild, okay. and then uh, we'll we'll come back to you on that, but. Yeah, Vans is something that which which uh, yeah we have something which we just put ourselves up on on TikTok called uh, sneaker kunst and kunst means art in the link is Italian. below uh, the link is below it also means kunst uh, it's also uh, in Scandinavian and German so we kind of like an idea of it so yeah so we're trying to we encourage European artists to put their designs and stuff onto sneakers. Oh wow! So it would be, yeah. could be great yeah. if we could uh, tie up with you guys because it's all POD. So um, anybody who orders it, the, you know your product in the US can certainly buy all your other merch as well. So mm. very cool. Yeah, so I'm shamelessly fun. promoting myself now. Yeah, yeah. For Someone's got to promote us. Someone's got to promote us, David. It might as well be you. So yeah. <laughs> so this is awesome i like this so this sunday five to nine at show me pizza in austin texas um and if you can't make it but you like joseph's art you can reach him through i guess us at uh, two old farts and we'll pass it along and you can buy his stuff now the poster with the all-seeing cap behind you this is keep austin weird is that a poster an art piece what is that one so yeah so that's a canvas print okay yeah uh so i'll do uh like stencils of my designs for uh, for like canvases or and stuff like that, and so those are the kind of ones that I put up around like coffee shops and different okay. galleries. Yeah. Uh, so I make my street art that's for like you know uh, for people's homes and stuff they can have out in their house. And gotcha. So there's somebody one want... that I had originally as a, a, a poster that I right. put down. Wow! Yeah. Very nice. Uh, I mean, if if it had your if it had your signature on it, Joseph, then it had like keep keep Amsterdam weird or keep Rotterdam weird, you know, or keep London weird. You know, you have a global market just for that because it's such yeah. a 
such a cool thing if people you know, keep, that, yeah. keep you know, Austin weird is our is our city slogan and the only other city I know of that uses it is Portland. Yeah. Well, have you, have you been to Portland? I'm just saying, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's weird. So you can, <laughs> you, you can have street you have street names put on it, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Would you say like oh. keep London weird? Yeah. yeah. I don't think London's a very weird city. It's like more like well, it, it, yeah, it depends on whether or not you live there. Or not, you know, it's, it, I mean, it, I mean, I have, I have to, I have to um, accept the fact that Austin is weird simply because somebody's made that poster with it written on it. But I, it may not be yeah. weird. It may be so like super conservative and and very boring, it's, very. Vanilla. It's really not. Um, it is. It is weird. Um, but I feel like it's getting less. Have you been weird. to Amsterdam? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yes, that's I have. Very nice. Yeah, um, well, you know that Amsterdam is weird. So, Amsterdam is, yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I just thought, I thought it was a lot more sophisticated than it was weird, but it definitely had some quirks. <laughs> well, yeah. While you guys are while you guys are discussing how weird Austin is, Joseph is showing us his art. So we're just gonna do. Yeah, that. there you go. Very nice. <laughs> very cool. So for everybody out there, and you can ship globally because it's easy because it's stickers or it's a T-shirt. Not like some of the artists we have that have these mega mega, mega paintings, and we're like, that's yep. really great. Uh, the cost I sell for you know fifteen dollars, right? Eight stickers, and it's eight different designs, and you can put them on your notebooks, you can put them on the bathroom walls. You know, they're universal, and they everybody can own a piece yeah. of my art without spending you know hundreds of dollars. Right, so, right, right. Are you putting are you putting them onto phone covers? Yeah, phone covers. Phone covers yeah. Like that water bottles, you know. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah the normal the normal POD stuff. Yeah. Yeah, They're there was very, a big market cool. in Europe um or uh, uh, half a year or so ago where everybody was stickering the the crap out of their laptops. So yeah. they would just uh, have these big big stickers that went over the front of them so because My all of a sudden it was what Although you could afford to buy an expensive uh, laptop, it was not trendy to know that you had that you owned one. So yeah, people want to stick her over them. Yeah. yeah, that's the that's the great thing about stickers. And then you, you, it's kind of you can collect them. You know, it's like people always will talk about, hey, where did you get that sticker? Who's that? You know. Yeah. Well, very, so very I don't cool. know, I, like I, I don't think it's a, a European thing, but I know that very much the 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 bumper sticker is something. Well, the times I've been in the U.S. that Everybody seems to have some sort of message on their on their car. Whether yeah, that's to help them remember which car is theirs. I don't know, but uh, I think that's it, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. The, this is America, okay. man. We come up with the dumbest things for the dumbest reasons. Welcome, welcome to our world. So we have first world problems here. So <laughs> yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. Well, Joseph, I mean, thank it, you. It is a thank you so much. Concept, isn't it? <laughs> are are putting stuff on your car? Yeah, you know, what are you going to do? So. Yeah, I actually have. Well, like, I just think if you buy a really expensive like, car and then you put a sticker on the bumper, I find that yeah. quite quite yeah. bizarre. So, but, uh, you, know. you know, whatever floats your boat. I'm a concern. You know, what can I tell you, Joseph? Thank you so much. We, uh, your art is phenomenal. Do we have any other art? Bef do you want to show of Joseph's, or that's all we 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 took off the internet? Joseph's been holding up stickers oh, and, no, uh, and posters and ever. Yeah, because so. um, I I couldn't find. I had to be, um, shall we say, inventive this morning gotcha. to get the So archive, Joseph, so. when your website when your website does come back online as you're mm -hmm. redoing it, what's the website going to be? So if somebody wants to go and look and buy or something, what's that? Where would they go? So it's I'm going to get the domain thecatscult.com. Okay. Uh, and it's going to be yeah sticker packs, uh, buttons, patches uh art you know canvas and stuff uh wood cutouts i i'm coming out with cats cult infused bottled water okay a catnip bottled water for your cats nice how about for the people no never mind so yeah, you can drink it yeah okay yeah, but it, I mean, uh, it's green water so it goes in this little bottle and you give it to your cat and it has like that kind of psychedelic imagery Nice, because you know what's better than to flip out your cat with some psychedelics. So there you go. I like it. So you can tell they they've been listening to Joe Rogan. Yeah. Anyway, so well, and um, his yeah. Instagram is it's strange, isn't it? Cool. So you can always go to his Instagram. Which what's his Instagram? One more time, please. It's the cat's cult. Cat's cult. Okay. It's the okay. cat's cult. 
So we will promote that there. The longest time, yeah. I didn't want to be like doing street art is kind of illegal. Right. So uh, I kind of keep it to like abandoned buildings or, you know, um, things that I'm not going to get too much in trouble for. Luckily, right. you can kind of rip it down if a cop catches you. So you got to kind of be a little bit leery on that stuff too. So now I'm finally, all right, I feel like I'm not going to get in trouble. I can get, I can show my face. Okay. That won't even show their face. They'll wear, if they do interviews, they'll wear a mask. Or a television, apparently, yeah. on their head. So the there you go. And stuff like that, you know. They kind of like that aesthetic of not being known, you know. Right, right, right. It's so so you're going to do the opposite of Banksy, apparently, yeah. which is good. Finally, I can, I'll show my face. I'll let people know. <laughs> they can come to our shows and meet me, you know. And he'll autograph something for you. Yeah. Or a pizza box. Yeah. So. Most people ask me about cat advice. They go, hey, my cat's a little sick. Oh, my God, that's cute. <laughs> They're like, well, I don't, I'm not a vet. I don't know any. Or they go, how many cats do you have? You know, right. I have the one. I just have the one. Yeah. Can we see the cat again, please? There, oh, <laughs> there, let's, the, let's give the cat yeah. a close up because people, animal lovers, that's a very oh pretty cat. God, hey, buddy. Hi. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so, see, that's the that's a thumbnail right there. What's oh up, buddy? God. What's his name? What's her name? So this is, uh, so this is Blue. She's six. Blue. Wow. Blue, yeah. you're so Hi, pretty. Hi, Blue. And she, she's my muse. So oh, your muse. So that one image had, that's Blue's face, you can tell. Oh. Uh, Blue, you're a star. Yeah. So she's been, she's more famous than I am, really. Be because all of the images are her. Yeah. So, yeah. There's posters around town right now with her face on it. Bathroom walls with her face on it. Hey, now. So that comes, that comes across very, very wrong for someone from New York City. So there's a bathroom fit with your wall. Eh? What? So very cool. But your cat's gorgeous. Your work is wonderful. I hope a lot of people get to go to um, Show Me Pizza this Sunday, which will be, I think, the fourth. And in the interim, if you can't and you like Joseph's work, you can reach out to us here and we can hook you up with them. Yeah. And, and buy and, some stickers. Uh, you can see, even if you're in Austin, you can see it around town. Yep. So, Buildings on the, you know the east side or just around, you'll see. Oh, there's a cat on that wall somewhere, you know. So. Well, now when I drive around and I see it, I'll be like, I know who did that because you yeah. see stuff here, especially yeah. downtown and whatnot, and you just don't know. And the great thing too is, you know, with Instagram, and the internet, I'll just I now they're up in all the cities too. Right. So if you go to Portland, you can see that same poster up on some wall. So we we trade cool. kind of trade posters, and I'll put up other artists from different cities and you know even europe and stuff right uh, right now uh, melbourne they have a big gra graffiti uh like area and they'll okay. have a bunch of posters up there never been there but my cat's face is like plastic on the wall there you know so blue is globally famous and blue has never left austin exactly yeah that is that is awesome that's david that's like us yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Very, very cool. So well, that's very nice. I like that. And if she lives another five or six years, that'd be great. She'll be even more famous. Yeah, I'm probably going to get her taxidermy, you know? Oh, nice. You and Roy Rogers. You know, of the cat's cult, yeah. Right. Yeah, was Roy Rogers' uh, taxidermy done? Did somebody stuff no. Roy Rogers? No, they stuffed his horse, Trigger. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I, so then I can always have my cat. She can always be with me. You know, She'll like, be your muse. I mean, then I can take her to shows, you know, so then she will be an exhibit at one point, you know? There, there you go. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's as as long, funny as, as that sounds, as funny as that sounds, that's what Roy Rogers, when he stuffed Trigger and they did the, like the Roy Rogers Museum, people would come to see Trigger. Yeah. Miss Wild, yeah, Miss Wild's probably too young to remember Roy Rogers. Yeah. So, so. yeah I thought, I think I remember my grandma talking about him. Wow. Wow. That is really nice. Hey, just so you know, back that's in the day, we had big ships with sails and everything. It was great. That's how we went around the world. Yeah, sure. All the continents were together until they broke apart. Oh, it's a whole thing. So, yeah. yeah. It's, it's funny, this whole this whole cat thing, though, isn't it? Because um, I live with a, I live with a you know, complete cat nut. Um, and we have a monster, <laughs> a, a monster cat in the house as well, um, of, of which, of course, we are part of his... We are the the service personnel of the cat. Uh, yeah, he originally was called Floyd, I think, but uh, 
when we got him out of the cat uh, sanctuary, but Annette decided that wasn't a very good name. So she was currently then watching a series on Netflix, I think, about Ozzy Osbourne. And because the cat was really dark and had really evil looking eyes, she's called him Ozzy. So he's now called Ozzy, the, Ozzy, the Prince of Darkness. And uh, yeah, we, we literally just serve his daily needs. Um, but yeah, so I think on the internet, it's first pornography and then cats in that order. So it's, <laughs> yeah. not, it, it's not such a bad thing that you're betting on, I think, as regards to your art, because people just love cats. So Well, yeah, yeah. so the, the thing is, yeah, just cat, it's, cats cold is cat culture. So I realized people's animals are and become like such a ingrained a part of them. So my cat is yeah. pretty much a different version of me or vice versa. So just like, I like that idea of how I think my cat's kind of an alien and that's how <laughs> where it comes to me in a dream and kind of just tells me what to do. Yeah. Well, in well, New York, that, that guy that guy was called Son of Sam, and he was told by a dog what to do. So let's not get carried away there. So, yeah. you know. yeah, well, that's, <laughs> the, that's the strange thing about cat owners, I think, because they say dog owners, you eventually end up looking like your dog, but that doesn't seem, seem to be the same for cat owners. Yeah. Cats are a little bit more, like, the thing is, I like, I like dogs as well, but dogs just like you. Yeah. 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 Cat, my cat well, is like and, and cats tolerate you. Yeah. My yeah. cat, if I'm gone, <laughs> On, I'll find out. You know, she'll give me the cold shoulder. You know, yeah. You know, so all, 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 all these, all these feline, female, felines. Yeah, felines. There you go, Dave. We'll get you. We'll help you with English. So since you yeah, guys invented it, apparently. So well, the thing is, Stephen, I'm so I speak sort of English. So it's been half I've heard. Half my life speaking Dutch and the other half speaking English. So I'm sort of. I when I was at, when I was at university, I did English, and she was wonderful. But that's another show. Yeah, but so, it's so, so, sometimes really difficult to think of the right words in the right language. But uh, it may be, it may be an age thing, of course. That's very true, because you know you're older that's, than. That's possible. Some, yeah, it could be. So, well, we're going to let Joseph yeah, well, go create I'm, I'm, more I'm, art. I'm older than. You're older than what? Oh, is, is he going to do something? Is he going to create some art? I was, I was going to let him go and like start his day in Austin because here it's like ten in the morning, and this show is going to go out at eleven in the morning. And I so need to go back to it. sleep. So yes, because Miss Wild just got in a few minutes ago, so we're very happy that she could like at least fall asleep during Joseph's yeah. interview it's for her own show. <laughs> so for her own show, by the way. So, well, Joseph, yeah. thank you. It was a pleasure. If you ever want to come back, please let us know. Oh yeah, it's a pleasure to have you. Yeah, and uh, if y'all do other podcasts as well, would y'all be a guest on a on a podcast of mine? Whenever you would like us to be on your podcast, you let us know. We'll come on your podcast and we'll do our two old fart things and we'll cross promote it and we'll get all these fans to learn about you and vice versa. I can teach y'all more about Austin, you know. About God, I can make I have more things to make fun of. This is gonna be awesome. I love this yeah. podcast idea. So just so you know, though, because David's an older gentleman, and I mean, when I say older, I mean, oh, old. let's say, you know, Queen Elizabeth, who just died, he knew the great, 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 great grandmother personally. You know what I'm saying? He's an old guy. Um, well, good, then. You look no, it, was, it, was, it was earlier than that, Stephen. Yeah, Henry, Henry the first he met. So he was earlier than back that. Back in the day. Yeah, earlier than that. Yeah. About the oh. 10th century. But no, no, if you want to do it, we're... More than um, open when we get off, we'll, when yeah, we end this, we can I have a quick chat. I don't know how much I can contrib contribute towards the Austin scene. But um, you look very dapper so, with I your mean, scarf, actually, so you could contribute to that. I once actually owned an Austin, uh, an Austin Morris, but I don't know if that qualifies me to be an expert in the Austin scene. But uh, Those are nice little cars, though. <laughs> You'll get there. So, Austin Martins or Austin the Austin Healer? No. no? All right. Never mind. Austin I'll go back Healy. to sleep. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's the, oh those are beauties. Yeah. All right. Well, this is a whole, that becomes another show. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. thank you. Go to yeah. Show Me Pizza. I think Miss Wild will be there. She'll be awake, we promised, on Sunday, December 4th, 5 to 9. Joseph will be there. You can yeah. get his art as well. And, of course, David and I are always here, so feel free. And in January, I think we start doing live shows, so people can actually add comments to things when we talk. So that's going to be interesting. So knowing that the people that watch our show. So we're going to say good night to everybody, especially Miss Wild. Joseph, stay with us. It was a pleasure. David, it's always good to see you. And Thank you. Uh, yeah. that's it, kids. Have a great December.
Sweet. Yeah, enjoy your pizza. Enjoy your pizzas. I'll be thinking about you. Yeah, we're uh, I'm willing to pizza. Uh, pizza as well. There you go. We're eating pizza that, yeah. and showing. I just made my stomach growl. I want that pizza right now. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good oh. one. Okay. <laughs>